Broadcasting live from the east side of sunny Madison, Wisconsin, it's the last show on earth with Nate Chapel. Tonight, we grab the worm by the lapels and tell him to get me because it's early. But now, the man who. The last host on earth, Nate Chapel! Hello, early birds and gotten worms, and welcome to episode early of. Oh, the sleepiest. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, you guys. Let me fill you guys in here. So, we're uh, usually live, as you know, but today we're pre taping because um, there's a. Well, there's a scheduling conflict. Sorry, it's so early. There's a scheduling conflict, so it's currently 6 a.m. So that's much earlier than normal. Oh, sorry, no reason to be vague about it. Johnny's trying out later for America's Got Talent in Oshkosh. Always a contrarian, that guy. He's going to prove them wrong. I'm just kidding. His talent is immense. It's listening, specifically. He's a great listener, that guy. I think they'll really like that. So yeah, it's really early in the morning. And that's also why we're shooting the monologue here in the kitchen. Because I was running a little late this morning. My alarm didn't go off. Well, I mean, it went off, but apparently not insistently enough. I have it on the give up easily setting. So I'm here in my bathrobe casually frying an egg. You know, I'm fascinated with the negotiations that take place when you're snoozing, you know? Like what you're willing to give up for just a tiny bit more sleep. Like, I showered yesterday, probably. I'll just wet my hair. You know, I'll just eat breakfast in the car. You know, my hair's fine. Pajamas are technically clothes. But that's fine today, actually, because it doesn't matter what I wear. Because today is casual fried egg. See, every fifth episode of the season, we loosen up the dress code around here at Last Show on Earth Corps, and we also fry an egg casually. Why? Uh, I guess I don't know. I guess I like wordplay, and I like not dressing up. <laughs> Speaking of casual, I will now casually segue into talking about the fact that each week we record a plea to actor William Zabka, who played Johnny in Karate Kid and more recently played Johnny in Cobra Kai, where we ask him to please guest host the season finale of this very program in a segment we call Johnny, Please. Johnny, you know I've heard that you have to break a few eggs to make an omelet. And that's what we're asking from you, to make an omelet. Break a few eggs, but unlike the normal way, I would like you to break them with a flying kick or a cool punch and a or something like that. So, Johnny, please. Okay, glad we got that taken care of. I feel like I probably look more desperate today with the robe and everything. So maybe Mr. Zabka will take mercy on me. Oh wait, I guess that would kind of go against his whole brand, huh? No mercy, all that. Ah oh, well. Maybe I should be trying to get him to fight me. So, for those of you who don't know me in the morning, I experience what I like to think doctors would call a morning blackout. I don't remember much of anything in my first hour or so of being awake every day. So I'm not going to remember any of this probably. Just as well. I am the envy of everyone watching right now. Hard as you try, you'll never forget this. Until like tomorrow. Yeah, the morning blackout. Sometimes I worry that I've committed a murder or something in one of these blackouts and I just don't remember, but luckily I know that I don't usually get that stabby until mid-afternoon, so I think I'm safe. It's like, don't even get stabbed by me until I've had my coffee, you know what I mean? I mean, who has the energy? I don't even want to talk to anybody, much less stab anyone. You know, I already have to clean up cat pee right away every morning. Now I'm going to clean up a bunch of blood and hide evidence first thing? Yeah, I don't think so. Plus, I'd have to conceal it from my later self. And you got to get up pretty early to 
Oh, yeah. Oh, and hey, uh, the egg's done. So, so is the monologue. And now it's time to start your day, funny side up, with today's morning affirmation. I'm security guard Carl Lewis with today's morning affirmation. <sighs> if life ever gets too overwhelming, just remember, we're all gonna die. And breathe out. Welcome to my week in review. I'm Oh Nate Chapel, this is my week. On Monday I drove my car over my Bluetooth earbud. I guess it's not as indestructible as no one ever claimed it was. So I got the tools out and got to work on fixing it. After a very frustrating 10 minutes, I powered it on and it was like beep bloop. And I was like, oh wait, I don't know how to do this. On Sunday I watched the season finale finally of the HBO drama Big Little Lies, and sorry, I don't buy it. You're telling me Adam Scott shaves his huge beard and goes to a party where there's small talk and no one says anything about it? Get real. HBO? More like HBS. <laughs> On Tuesday I made egg salad and I decided that if I could peel hard boiled eggs all day I would finally be happy for about an hour and then I'd be like, oh shit, what am I going to do with all these eggs? That's my week in review. I'm Nate Chapel. Take my week in hell. Wigs. 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 We got wigs. We got wigs. 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 We got wigs. Is it? Well, I guess we'll see. Man alive, this sunrise really is something, ain't it? Yeah, you know, sometimes it's easy to forget just how ugly nature can be sometimes. Come again? Yeah, I mean, look at it. I got up basically in the middle of the night to see this. Yeah? You mean the spectacular sunrise? Oh, it's a spectacle, all right. Like a car crash, I can't look away. A car crash? How do you think that this is? Yeah, look at it. I mean, it's so pink. I know, yeah. But not just pink, like hot pink. So... You don't think it's a bit much? I don't. No, I, I think it's great. You don't think it seems sort of, I don't know, dated? Like 80s or something? A bit, I don't know, garish? Garish? I don't understand. Oh, sorry. It means like gaudy. I know what it means. I just don't understand how you think the sunrise is garish. What are your feelings on sunsets? Oh, I love sunsets. Really? 
even though sunsets are typically even more garish. I feel like we're overusing that word now. It's starting to sound weird. Okay, gaudy then. That one sounds weird too. It might just be your accent. Okay, moving on. Yeah, sure, sunsets are pretty flashy too, but for that time of day it just seems more, I don't know, appropriate, I guess. It's like evening wear. That sounds pretty weird. Oh, because to you I have an accent? Nope, that's not why. Look, I'm just saying that it seems a bit much for this hour. Like, I used to work with this woman named Judy. And she was very nice, but very... Let's just say she sure is an upbeat lady, okay? Steady, always up, always positive, high energy. Sounds like a nice lady. Sure, most of the time. But right away in the morning, a bit much. Okay, so you're saying that the sky is like Judy. Great most of the time, but a bit much first thing. Who the hell is Judy? The, the woman you used to work with. Oh, Judy. Yeah, I ended up having to fire her. Oh, why? Well, turns out, the reason she was always so upbeat was because she was embezzling hundreds of thousands of doll hairs every year. Did you just say doll hairs? Yeah, doll hairs. I used to manage a doll factory. <sighs> yeah, exactly. See, I told you, sunrises are the worst. Too early, too bright, and too goddamn pink. I mean, come on. It was totally dark like 10 minutes ago. What are you trying to do, blind me? Like, I was just sleeping 20 minutes ago, and now I gotta get slapped in the face with a Miami Vice promo from 1986? It's like, at least buy me a cup of coffee first, you know? So, you're not a morning person, then? No, I love mornings. Why? I'm gonna go stand over here now. Oh, why? Is there a better view over there? This court is my court. That's why it's called Nate Court. I'll bring down the hammer, because I don't have a gavel. I think most rules are open to interpretation. My interpretation. I can handle the truth. A stitch in time. What does that mean? I believe in second chances, and third chances, and fourth chances. Innocent. Innocent. Guilty. Guilty. In my court, it's my way or the highway, and I don't like to drive, especially at night. Innocent. Innocent. Guilty. And eighth chances, and ninth chances, but tenth chances? I don't think so, pal. Oh, sorry, I was zoning out. What are you talking about? I'm a fake judge, but it's a fake court. If you need justice, we'll see you in court. Court. Rosie, beard, no beard, beard, no beard, beard, yeah, let's go with beard. and Endemans, and welcome back to episode early of The Last Show on Earth. Our guest tonight is actually the only person we could find who is up at this hour, so please help me welcome to the show the Eakin Park neighborhood's very own garb, uh, sanitation engineer, Sully Sullivan. Welcome to the show. Ah, thanks for having me on. And it's okay, you can call me a garbanzo bean if you want to. Oh, wait, no, I was actually going to call you a garbage man. Why? Never mind. Uh, so, Sully, uh, say, what's that short for? Uh, Sullivan. 
Wait, so your name is Sullivan Sullivan? Yes, you can see why I'd go by my middle name. Wait, so your middle name is... Sully. Which is short for... Nothing, just Sully. So your full name is... Sullivan, nothing, just Sully, Sullivan. It is really too early for this. Too early? I'm on lunch right now. What time did you start? Do you mean what time was I born? No, what? Like, what time did I start life? No, I meant what time did you start work today? Oh, oh, right, sorry. Uh, I'm starting to get that afternoon crash. I started at 1. AM? No, FM. The bass sounds better. What were we talking Nothing. about? Nothing. Just Sully. Please, just call me Sully. Okay, Sully, so, uh, why did you decide to become a, uh, how did you get into this line of work? Oh, you mean why did I decide to be a garbage man? Uh, yeah. Well, I used to be, or I used to watch the detective romantic comedy television show Moonlighting, starring post-taxi driver Sybil Shepard and pre-diehard Bruce Willis, and I wanted to be a private detective. So while I attended Phoenix Junior College, I moonlighted as a garbage young man where I discovered how much you could learn by looking through a person's garbage. I eventually decided to flunk out of school and make moonlighting my full-time gig. And I've been digging through people's garbage ever since. That is quite a story. Thanks. But I've already sold my rights to my story. To Johnny. Oh, what? Johnny, is this true? Yes. <clears throat> I'm going to make it into a movie called Sully. You know, Tom's Hank Tom Hanks has expressed interest. How much did you pay for it? Uh, I have to do his route for a week. Actually, I should probably get to it. Okay, Johnny. Thanks. Uh, so, what sort of things can you tell about somebody, someone just by digging through their garbage? Well, maybe it'd be easier to show you. Johnny, bring me Nate's garbage. There you go. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm excited to see what you can figure out about my trash. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Oh, alright. Uh, an empty box of macaroni and cheese. This tells me that you eat food. D I, yes, I, I, I got that right, right? Yeah, I do eat food. That's uncanny. Uh, what else you got? Uh, oh, uh, a receipt. Which tells me that you purchase things at stores. Am I right? Yeah, I do buy things at stores sometimes. Like that mac and cheese, I bet. Yeah, I probably got that at a store, I assume. Uh, oh, what else is in here? Oh, here's a bag of cat hair, from which I can do deduce that you used to collect cat hair, but then you decided not to. It just means I have cats. Okay, but what are cats, really, but a collection of hair? I'm gonna count that. Uh, what else? Oh, oh, a VHS copy of the 1986 post-apocalyptic roller skating movie Solar Babies. You're someone who's uncertain of his place in the world. You have a wanderlust constantly in contrast to your desire to make a home, and you're afraid of large groups but value close friendships. You have anxiety about the future, but and the linear nature of time, but you're generally an optimist. You are strong and resilient. Wow, how did you get all that from just one movie? Oh, oh, I didn't. I, I found a fortune here, too. Oh, okay, I think I'm gonna keep this, actually. As your garbage man, I must advise against that. Well, you're gonna have to take me to court. What court? Nate Court! What you're about to witness is a TV judge show. The cases are real, the gavel is a croquet mallet, and the judgments are final. Judge Nate is not an actor. They said he didn't have the right look. You be the judge, but not here, because this is Nate Court. Counselors, approach the bench. How am I doing so far? I mean, I read the brief and everything, but by the way, brief? This one should have been called a long, <laughs> right? <laughs> Anyway, who do you guys think is guilty? Oh, 
Sunrise versus Sunset is of course the game where I show our contestants a picture of a sunrise or a sunset and they have to guess which it is. Johnny, Sully, you've got your cards ready? Okay, there you go. White side is sunrise, blue side is sunset. All right. Are you ready to get going? I'm ready. Okay, let's all have a good yawn. All right, here we go. Number one. Show me your answers in three, two, one. Ew. Ah, damn. Okay. James says sunset. Sully, sorry. Sully says sun sunset. John says sunrise. The correct answer is sunset. Ah. That's one for you. Keep oh, track okay. of your keep track of your scores, guys. Okay. Next one. This one. Is it a sunrise or a sunset? Oh, dang it. Three, two, one. Both say sunrise. It is a sunrise. Both got that. Two to one, right? Okay, next up. Sunrise or sunset. Three, two, one. Sully says sunrise. Johnny says sunset. It's sunrise. Three to one. Next up. Sunrise. Or sunset. In three, two, one. Blue, blue. Sunset, sunset, it is a sunset, correct. 4 2. Right? I know my score. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I know this one. Okay, sunrise or sunset in 3, 2, 1. Sunrise, sunrise. It's a sunrise. Okay, next one. Sunrise or sunset in 3, 2, 1. Both said sunset, both are correct. What do you got for it? What do you got? You know? What? How many points you got? Nothing else. Six to about. Ready? And in. Okay, next one. Sunrise or sunset? In three, two, one. We'll say sunrise. It is a tequila sunrise. I think ultimately, Sully wins the day. I don't know how many points he has, but Matt has never been strong suit. Alright, well. Ladies and gentlemen, this here. That's been our show this morning. I want to thank Sullivan, nothing, just Sully, Sully, Sullivan for coming on the show. I think we all really learned a lot. Thanks. And a big thanks to the biggest crew of two, the two He-Man Wrecking Crew, the lastest crew on Earth, the Chaplain Johnny Fisher. And good luck tonight on your audition, Johnny. Break an ear, I guess. Finn Hammond and Tyler Ensor made the music for tonight's show. Check out Tyler on SoundCloud and look for Finn, mouth deep in a two-day-old two birthday cake. Careful, pal. For uh, more episodes of this show, go to the, the last show on... Okay, ready? For more episodes of this show, go to thelastshowonearth.org and go to wolfout.tv for our other shows. And, of course, we are Wolfout TV all over this web we call worldwide, so go look us up on google.corn. Thanks for watching us tonight, creeps. Remember, we're watching you, too. And as Andy McDowell said in the film Groundhog Day, it's too early. Good night. Good morning and good nachos.